Hi guys, it's Stephanie from Cake Nation here. Today I'm going to show you how to make a fondant postman pat cake topper. For this figure you're going to need some kebab skewers just to go through the legs and the body to make sure that he stays upright. I'm working on the feet first, I've got some black fondant, um, just rolling it into some sausage shapes and I'm going to flatten it slightly at one side. Um, postman pat's got quite bulky shoes anyway so you want to leave them quite rounded at the front. I've got a balling tool and I'm just flattening it at one side so that the trousers have got something to sit on. Once you're happy with the shape of those if you pop them to one side to dry. For the legs I'm just using some navy modelling paste, rolling out a sausage shape and flattening slightly. Um, I've got a knife and I've just cut in where the legs will actually part and I'm just working on the base of the trousers just thinning it out slightly just so that when it sits on top of the shoes it's not going to look too bulky and it's going to fall quite nicely. Um, once you're happy with the shape of your trousers you want to put in some lines where the fabric would bend or where it would fold just to give it a little bit of movement rather than it looking just flat. You just want to make sure that the edge of the trousers are nice and soft and rounded and the same with the inside of the legs and once you've done that if you just add some extra lines um, mainly around the pocket area, around the bottom of the trousers where they would sort of crease up around the shoes um, near where the knees are those are the types of areas that you want to be just lining to just give a bit of movement. If you put a line in and you don't like it, you can always just rub that out with your finger. Um, so don't worry about if you put something in and you don't like it later on. The next thing you want to do is just sort of line your trousers up with your shoes. Make sure that they fit together properly. The back of the trousers should cover the back of the shoes. I'm just using a bit of water here, but you could use um, glue if you wanted to just to hold the shoes onto the bottom of the legs. Now I'm using my um, kebab skewers just to put through the legs. Now to keep the shape, ideally when you're pushing these in you need to be twisting just to make sure that they're not messing up the shape of the trousers that you've already got. The torso is quite simple, it's just a rectangular white shape. This is the colour of his shirt. Down the sides of the trousers, don't forget to put the seams in there with your stitching tool. Once you're happy with the shape of your top, if you just place that on top of your legs, um, just be careful not to put it out of shape too much. If there's any excess that needs trimming off, now's the time to do it. You need to make sure it comes up to a little bit of a cone at the top because obviously he needs he's going to have his arms stuck on there so it's going to become broader anyway. Once you're happy with that shape, take some more of your navy fondant and you want to roll it out just so that it wraps around Postman's Pat's body. Don't be worried about this being too neat because we are going to trim it out. We just want that initial shape to wrap around the body and it just meet up at the front so it closes like his jacket does. Once you're happy that that actually fits around, you just need to chop some of the height off there. Um, roll it out again if you've put any fingerprints or bent it out of shape. Then you want to wrap the jacket around the body making sure that it just slightly overlaps at the front and using your knife just to trim off any excess. I'm just shaping it a little bit so that it does come down so you can see Postman's Pat's tie when we put that on. Once you're happy with the shape of the jacket it's now time to just trim off the excess around the sh shoulders with some scissors and you can blend these back in once the jacket is actually on the torso. I've just stuck the jacket on with some um, water but you can use edible glue if you prefer. Once you're happy with the jacket you need to work on the neck for postman pat so I've just taken some of my modelling paste and coloured it in skin tone. You want to roll it into a sausage shape and then just try and cut an amount off that you think is going to be long enough for the neck. I always do slightly longer as the weight from the head usually sort of squishes it a little bit so I usually tend to make it a little bit longer. Once the neck's stuck on you can then stick down the arms, um, the top of the shoulders that we trimmed off earlier on. Now I'm just working on the collar for postman pat so you want to cut a strip of your white modelling paste and wet it slightly and then just wrap it around. 
once you've wrapped it around if there is any excess don't worry because at this stage we can actually just trim that off once the collar's on and you're happy with the shape you can then work on the black tie so I've just cut out a tie shape and I'm gluing that on the front making sure that it sort of sits in the jacket so you can take out a little bit of the front um, and just make sure that that's tucked in trim off at this point any excess for the shoulders that you are not happy with or that need removing because we're going to work on the collar of the jacket as well to go around so for the jacket collar I always prefer to roll out my fondant first and then cut myself a thin strip and then wrap it around the neck and then make on the markings with a knife as to where I think that the um, slit should come out and where it sort of fits together just before the buttons so you can see I'm just putting it on the neck now and closing it up and I'm marking with my knife where the bit should actually come out once you've made your markings and you're happy with how that looks whilst it's on the figure take it off and then cut these out on your mat once you're happy with what you've got if you use some of your water just to glue that on to the figure making sure that it just fits together nicely and you can't see any of the joins underneath the jacket using a bit of extra water just to stick that bottom bit down and making sure you can still see the white collar even though that's on. I've just trimmed off some excess for the collar and I'm just using some more water just to make sure that the jacket's actually stuck down fully to the shirt. Next we're just going to cut out some little pockets for the front of Postman Pat's jacket. So I've got some more of my modelling paste and I'm just cutting out some little squares um, that I'll trim down. You want to just make sure that they are roughly the same size and that they're placed in roughly the same place on the front of the jacket. Once you're happy with your sizing, if you just use whichever um, you prefer, water or edible glue, just to stick these on to the front of the jacket. Once they're on and they're nice and neat, you might need to trim a little bit extra off. But once they're on, this is what you should be left with so far. So the next thing we're going to work on is the arms of Postman Pat. Now I've decided for this cake I would like Postman Pat waving and with one arm down. So we'll work on both of the arms. One needs to be coming down. I've taken some of my modelling paste, rolled it into a long sausage shape and then I'm just going to fit that to the side of the arm and make sure that I'm happy with the shape and size of it against the body. You kind of want the arm just to finish just slightly above where your jacket ends. Once you're happy with the shape of the arm, if you take your balling tool and just put a little hole in the bottom of the arm, just where the sleeve would be, so we've got somewhere for the arm to sit in. Um, I'm using some water, just sticking that on there, flattening it at the top slightly because I don't want it to bulge out too much. Using my tool just to create a little crease in the um, elbow part, so just to give it a bit more movement. Now with the same sausage shape that I rolled out earlier on, I've got another piece of fondant and I'm creating the other arm in a waving like motion. So I've folded the fondant slightly, used my tool just to create the creases that would actually be in the jacket. Um, use my balling tool again just to create that hole in the end. Now what you want to do is use your water um, just to attach that arm onto the jacket and then prop it up to leave it to dry. I'm just using some of my um, colour gels. Here's what it should look like so far. I've left my figure to dry overnight just so that the arm can support itself up but we can still move around the figure. So next we want to work on the head. Postman Pat's got quite a large head so I've taken some of my skin tone coloured fondant that we made yesterday and rolled it into a sausage shape. I've put another cocktail stick in the neck of Postman Pat just so that the head actually is held on by a little bit more than what was left. That's what it should look like with the head on. Now I don't actually like to stick my head on at this point because I still like to take it off and um, if need be make amendments to it but I do like to work with the head on the actual table rather than on the figure. Next we're going to work on the hands for Postman Pat. Now he's got three fingers and a thumb, so I've taken some of my skin tone modelling paste, 
rolled out um, a little circle and as you can see I've cut with my scalpel lines in for the fingers so you can see me flattening out the shape I've cut the thumb there slightly and then I've just put in the other fingers just trimming off if needed now what I did actually find when doing the fingers is that they can be quite fiddly to work with so I used a tool instead just to soften up the edges so they look more natural and you can't just tell that I've just cut them with a scalpel just keep working the hand until you're happy with the shape if you need to cut any excess off then that's fine just always remember that once you've cut the excess off you do need to soften where you have just cut again either with your fingers or with the modeling tool and keep trying it on the arm just to make sure that you're happy with the shape um, and the position of the fingers I've inserted a half of a cocktail stick into the arm um, just to make sure that the wrist of the hand has got somewhere to actually sit on just gives it a little bit more stability while it's drying to make sure that it's not just falling off so once you're happy just use some water and just stick that on that's what your hand should look like once you've finished with it once you're happy with that hand you can then start to work on the other hand now the other hand I'm not doing in as much detail just because this hand is going to be stuck quite closely to Postman Pat's body so you're not going to see half of that anyway so I'm just flattening out my um, hand again, putting in the mark of where the bottom of the hand would be compared to the wrist and I'm using my scalpel just to cut out a thumb, softening the edges as before and then using my modelling tool just to make it look like the hand is actually bent over, using my scalpel just to mark in the finger lines there but without actually cutting through the rest of the fondant. Once you're happy with the shape of that hand you can then start to attach it to the body. Now this one you've actually got the rest of the leg to stick it onto as well so be quite firm when you're pushing it on but don't bend the fingers out of shape. I've used um, just something for it to rest against just to keep it in position. Using some um, water just to stick on the other hand and that is what it should look like once you've done this bit so far. I have put um, links to all the different tools that I've used in the description box below but for the next one you want to remove the head from the body and take one of your tools and make a smile line in Postman Pat's face. Now this will be painted in black but we'll do that later on in the video just because we are going to be handling the face quite a bit. Once you're happy with the smile line place it back on the figure to dry just because we don't want that flat head back and then we want to work on the nose now he's got quite a fat long nose so roll out a sausage shape and once you're happy with the size of that if you glue that onto his face using either your water or your edible glue once that's attached we then want to get our balling tool and create two small holes for the eyes once you're happy with those again put the head back on the body whilst we do the ears so i've taken two small um, pieces of my flesh coloured fondant and rolled them into balls I want to glue them on with a little bit of water using the back of my brush just to create that indentation for the ears once you're happy with those again put it on top to dry and this is what you should have so far once you're happy with the postman pat so far if you place him to one side just to harden for a little bit and the next thing we're going to work on is the hat for postman pat so you want to take some of your navy modelling paste and roll it into a ball and then you want to flatten it slightly so you end up with a cylinder shape. Once you've flattened it, if you just soften out the edges just to give it like quite a, a smooth finish. Always check your sizing against the head that you've got. So you want it to be slightly bigger than the top of the head but not too big because obviously you've got everything else that needs to go on there. Once you're happy with that part, you need to be rolling out again another circle, flattening it at one side so it's quite flat at one side and it's got a little bit of um, bulkiness to the front. Once you're happy with that, you just use your water just to glue that on and leave that to one side to dry. The next part of the hat that we want to work on is the bottom of the hat which is black. 
So all I've done is I've taken some black fondant and rolled it out quite thinly. You don't want it too bulky because it's all going to add to the height of the hat. Once you've rolled that out, if you just use one of your small circle cutters just to cut that out, making sure that it's slightly bigger than the um, base of the hat that you've already made. Once you're happy with that, if you just glue that on with some water. That's what the hat should look like once you've got that far. The next thing that I'm going to work on is Postman Pat's eyes. So I've just got some white modelling paste, rolling out two small circles, making sure that they're roughly the same size and using water to stick those into the sockets that we made earlier on. Once those are in and you're happy with those sizing, sometimes I just use the back of my um, modelling tool just to flatten them out slightly. Um, but once you're happy with that shape, if you then place Postman Pat's head just somewhere to dry and here I have taken some chestnut colour and some orange and just mixing it together with some modelling paste and we're now going to make Postman Pat's hair. So what I've done is now that Postman Pat's dry a little bit I've just taken the top of his head off just so that the hat and the head sit flush with each other. Um, I think it was the probably the best option. I did try it the other way around but it didn't quite look right. Once you're happy with the colour of your hair, Postman Pat's quite gingerish, so try to aim for as close to that colour as you can. Roll out some small balls of the colour that you've got, and then just stick those on randomly, wherever you think looks good, um, all the way up to the top of the head where you trimmed it off earlier on. Just make sure that you're filling in all the little gaps that you can and just placing it randomly throughout the hair. It doesn't want to be too neat and they don't all want to be in specific lines because that's not how his head is. This is how it should look once you've finished it. You can always try the hat on just to make sure that you've got it right at the sides. Just keep um, adding hair until you're happy with the amount that he's got, making sure that it looks fairly symmetrical on either side. Once you're happy with the hair the next thing that we want to work on is the eyes so I've just taken some black fondant, rolled out two small dots and using water to stick them on. Now I've kept the eyes looking straight forward but obviously you can place them any which way you want to make him look like he's looking either way. Once you're happy with the eyes you just need to take some of your black paint and colour in the smile line. Once that's done we need to start working on the glasses, so I've taken out some grey modelling paste, rolled it quite thin and I've just got my two circle cutters, so I've got one quite large one and then a smaller one and you just want to cut these out so that gives you the rim of the glasses. These are quite fiddly and they're quite hard to handle just because they're quite delicate, so once you're happy with the shape I just use my um, brush to lift these up and place them on the face. So once you've got the glasses shape out, you just need to wet the face slightly and place both of the rims on his face. Now I'm just using my brush mainly to pick these up because they are quite delicate and they can bend out of shape quite easily. But once you're happy, this is what you should end up with. Add some water to the cocktail stick and then place the head on there. Next thing that we actually want to work on is the badge for the front of the hat. Now I actually went and glued the hat on to his head um, thinking that then I could work whilst it was on there but I actually found it easier to just remove um, the hat from his head and then paint it on. So I've got some of my sugar flare gold here and I've just applied a little bit of water and I've just used a really thin brush. Now, I've got a picture of Postman Pat that I do keep reverting back to and I'm just doing a rough design it doesn't have to be too neat because again it is quite small the hat so details don't need to be too defined just as long as it's a rough outlook of the shape that you're actually trying to go for from the picture that you've got. Once you're happy with the painting that you've done you should have something similar um, to what it looks like now so there's just the badge on the front of his hat. So then you just want to apply the water and then stick that on top of his head. And I'm just colouring the buttons in gold on the front of his jacket. So that's the end of my Postman Pat tutorial. Here's the cake that I actually placed Postman Pat on. If you do like this tutorial, please feel free to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.